you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Today is gonna to be a really simple video. It's gonna be short and sweet and just a little tutorial and a little information, tips and tricks on how to use a scroll saw. So stay tuned. One, two, three, come on. I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that go into far greater detail that you can look up to help give you some advice on how to use a scroll saw. I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial on how I use it and the tips and tricks that I have found because I have a stack of wood that I need to cut out and so I thought, hey, why not do a little video for you. So if you're not familiar with a scroll saw, it is used for more fine woodworking projects. It's to cut wood that is thinner and needs more sharp corners and detailed oriented shapes. And so let me give you a little idea of what, how we work the scroll saw. So we have a blade guard, which is really nice for safety. And on the back here, we have a knob and as you can see, this is a Dremel brand. And if I twist it, what happens is it is going to loosen this right here where the blade is. And that allows me to remove my blade. So to get a new blade, I am going to grab the one that I need. And there are several different blade sizes that are used for different purposes. There are blades for larger stock that don't have as many teeth on it, and then there are blades for finer stock for really thin boards that have a lot of blades or a lot of teeth on them that you'll want to use to cut those. And the one thing that I have discovered is if you have the right blade, then this can go very smoothly. If you have the wrong blade, then it's going to be very difficult. So if you're having trouble getting nice smooth cuts and turns on your wood, then maybe check your blade and see if you need to switch it for a different type. Um, so I have cut a few different things with my scroll saw. I have done larger items like this bunny and then I have also done some smaller finer details like this beard and this beard goes with the uh, board that I'll be cutting out today which is this. I don't know if you can really see, but I have traced out a line for a hat because I make these craft gnomes and I have a craft party coming up and I have lots of people coming to uh, put together some craft gnomes. And so that's what I'm going to be cutting out today. So I'm going to take my blade and depending on the saw that you have, your blades will look differently. Uh, for this particular saw I have this blade and it's got these two little kind of hooks up there and two little hooks down there and there's a spot in here that that just and this is really easy that's something that I love about this is it's super easy to just install a blade so you kind of hook down there and then I'll see let's see if I can zoom in and show you this okay so basically I have this slot down here and I am going to insert my blade and I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and get better lighting. I have hooked my blade on that right there. And then if you'll see up here, I've got another slot. And I'm going to hook my blade right there. Okay. So now my blade, it's still really loose, right? And so you want to be careful and we're going to tighten the tension. So you want to make sure you tighten your tension. But that's how you install the blade. And then it's also got a side over here in case you want to angle it the other way. All right, so to tighten the tension, again, we're going to go to this back knob and we are going to tighten it. Tip number two. All right, so tip number one, make sure you're using the right blade for the job and make your life a lot easier. Tip number two, make sure you got a pretty tight tension. I want to make sure that my blade's really not going to be able to move. Like that's a lot of pressure right there to get my blade to move. And I want it to be tight. 
that'll keep my blade from snagging inside of the wood. Okay, so I've got the right blade for the job. Um, I am particularly going to be using a thicker stock. This is almost an inch thick stock, so I have a blade that has less teeth with more spacing in between the teeth, and that's going to work for the thicker stock. I have got my tension set tight, and then tip number three, uh, choose the right wood, if at all possible, and this may not be possible in all of your projects, but if you are going to be cutting out um, very detailed pieces, I would recommend using an MDF board. I use MDF for all of my projects, and it has no specific grain pattern, so it's really easy to do a lot of curves and swerves and smaller details. If you're going to use something like plywood, then plywood has a specific grain pattern. And, and when you're going against the grain, you're more likely to have chip out and you're going to run through your blades a lot quicker. And it's just more difficult to do those curves and swerves. So if at all possible, I would recommend using an MDF board. So now you're gonna notice two different speeds that I can set this on. There's a higher speed where it moves faster and then you'll hear the difference when it's a slower speed. I pretty much never use the slower speed. I just find it easier to do a very fast speed. In cutting, make sure you do what's comfortable for you. Go at the speed that's comfortable for you. And you know, sometimes I find that if I'm going a little bit faster, it's a little bit easier and I have actually a little more control However, make sure you're just doing what is comfortable for you because really it's all about safety. It's about keeping your fingers away from the blade. I try really hard to make sure that my hands are never directly in front of the blade. I keep an even amount of pressure downward to keep my board on top of the uh, plate from kind of bouncing around. And then when I have really tight corners, a lot of times I will just cut out little chunks at a time and go back like you see here and do those little pieces um, just one at a time until I get the complete cut finished. All right, there you have it, you guys. Pretty, pretty cool. So just a reminder when you're always working with tools to use the necessary safety precautions, wear your goggles, wear a mask, and Keep your hands away from the blade, pay close attention, don't let any distractions uh, keep you from keeping your fingers all in one place. Um, if you're interested in checking out the gnomes that I build, I will put a link below to my shop. And good luck on your next future project. I helped her.